Thank you for traveling with Amex Platinum. To your right, you'll see Oceanside Relaxation at a fine hotel and resort property. When booked through Amex Travel, you can enjoy complimentary breakfast for 2 and 4 p.m. late checkout. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Snohomish County PUD is celebrating 75 years of delivering electricity to Snohomish County and Kamano Island. It's our anniversary, but the prizes are for you. PUD customers can enter to win a $75 bill credit each month through September by visiting snopud.com slash 75. While you're there, check out the ways to save energy and money at your home or business with help from your PUD. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything, that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about navigating these moments. Their stories are full of candor and hard-won wisdom. And you'll hear from scientists who teach us how we can be more resilient in the face of change. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Every day, Ferguson works with people transforming the world we live in, and we bring them the products, tools, experience, and scale to make complex projects simple, successful, and sustainable. Ferguson. Together, we build better. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. If you need brake service, an alignment check, or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's awkward Tuesday phone call. I remember years ago, oh. our whole show was in Vegas, yeah. and we did one of those escape rooms, and I was yeah. forced to be in the same small space with my coworkers for almost 30 whole minutes. <laughs> Is that, we're, we're literally in a smaller room right now together <laughs> yeah. hours yeah, every but, day. But that room was crazy But at least hot. I get to leave this room whenever I want to. After I know, the segment. door's pretty heavy. And I, I don't want to say who, but double homicide definitely crossed my mind a couple times. <laughs> So I can't imagine being in the same scenario as one of our listeners, Josh, who Uh-oh. is now desperate for our help after he got stuck with one of his coworkers, mm. and apparently it was a lot longer than a half hour. What? Josh, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, you guys. Yo. Okay, wait, do you not like your coworkers? No, it's not that. It's not that. Um, it's just a situation that goes way beyond. Huh. Oh, I'm there's intrigued. Just a lot more to it. Yeah, and for okay. the record, I don't, I don't hate my coworkers either. Oh, we don't care how no. you feel about okay. us. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one even asks. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we're good. good. Yeah, we're not <laughs> even concerned about it. I can't, yeah. can't wait to leave this uh-huh. room. All right, uh, Josh. So tell us about what's going on with you and your coworker. Yeah, so I'm like a surveyor, right? Like I'll go out and. Uh, oh, yeah. I like assess the value of properties that have gone bankrupt. Essentially, oh, I legit was like, "Oh, you go out and oh. ask people for surveys? That's boring." <laughs> I, thought- I thought he meant one of those guys that stands on the side of the road with a tripod. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, also yeah. a survey. I thought something totally different too. Let's not survey let's not go land. into what we, we all thought. Officially, nobody knows on this show what a survey is. Yes, <laughs> that's also a survey. You sound like you're smarter than us. So uh, maybe in some ways, in other ways, probably not. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So you go out and you assess property values. Is that what you're saying? Essentially, yeah. And and when I do that, usually there's someone from a bank in the area or another person there to sort of crunch numbers with me. Um, okay. That makes sense. You know, banks have to know how much a house is worth if to they're going to give a loan or whatever. Sure. Yeah. I thought they were just guesstimate. No. Like, <laughs> I mean, it is, I right? Just... <laughs> the worst bank yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> so is that what you're talking about is like a coworker was with you? Yeah. So like oh. kind of a coworker. Do you know what I mean? Like it would say it was a, a woman named Emily from a bank that I work with often. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I think we'd use the term colleague. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. Colleague. Aren't yes. you fancy? So you and Emily were sent out to check out some property? Uh, we were sent out to review the assessed value of the space on a bank that had actually shut down. Okay. Oh, oh sure. wow. Okay, so you're in Silicon Valley, and what happened? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we do what we need to do. Yeah. Um, we're just getting sort of everything we need, and we're getting ready to walk out the door. And I realize that the electronic doors have locked behind us into the building. No. Oh, my no. God. Wait, so you literally locked yourself inside a house? Well, inside a bank. Oh, a bank. A oh. bank, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Whenever Brooke yeah. thinks of houses, they're all like giant <laughs> banks to her. Sorry, I you didn't... guys don't have vaults in your house? Your <laughs> 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 it looks sorry. like my bedroom. No, it's sorry. actually the endless supply of dumb, dumb suckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. 
<laughs> so you're oh, trapped inside sense. of a bank with this woman? Whoa. Yeah, with Emily from uh, another bank in the area. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, no. I bet that's kind of creepy because it's probably super empty. Yeah. And... Weird. I, what do Weird? you do? So I don't know if it was because of the it being a bank, if there's just like more metal in the walls or whatever, but neither of us had service in there no. whatsoever. You couldn't call so anyone? Oh, my work? God. You and I just t- thought of this. Even if you wanted to break the windows, banks don't make breakable yeah. windows and people can't break in. Yeah. You're going to die in that's there. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? Well, we had to, I mean, we were in there for the night. Oh, my uh, God. Fortunately, it wasn't a Friday, so there were some questions the next morning. Oh, my oh, God. That sucks. You'd think that that was the awkward situation, right? Like, you'd think that that's what I'm calling about, but it's really not. Oh, okay. okay. What, what's the awkward situation then? Well, the awkward situation is I get home the next day, and my girlfriend is like, where the heck were you? And I tell her the story of what happened, Yeah. and she is not happy. Oh, she oh you're God. Lying. Wait, does she think you lying or she just doesn't like the idea? After not coming home for the night, like I had to explain for hours and hours what had happened before she actually believed that I was stuck in the bank at all. Oh, oh my gosh. My. Wow, she didn't even and, trust you at all. Well, and then I told her there was actually someone else stuck in there with me. It was Emily. Oh. And she Ooh, was like, it's an extra you know. detail. Okay. I bet you if it was Fred, she would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, she didn't even believe the bank part. Why yeah. oh, make any of that true. up? <laughs> I mean, that's true. Yeah. Too. Brooke, if your husband didn't come home one night at all, oh. you didn't hear from him, and then he eventually gets back the next morning and is like, you're not going to believe this. I was locked in a bank with, a, with another lady. woman. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. How's your, what's your reaction to that? I'd be like, you idiot. Why did you lock <laughs> yeah. yourself in the <laughs> bank? <Yeah. laughs> like, what? Well, it's pretty much how you react to everything that he does. Like, yeah, Any you mistake idiot. he's made. Yeah, I mean, so someone so cheat, that's not their excuse. I've been in other relationships prior to my marriage yeah. where I could have seen where I'd be like, yeah, right. Got you know? It, yeah. okay. So clearly you're in an awkward situation with your girlfriend now, but why do you need our help? I could use some help convincing Emily to talk to my girlfriend. Oh, wait, what? You want Whoa. your, what? You How want do your you co-worker think this is- to reach out to your girlfriend to basically validate your story? Yes, I need a, a oh. corroborator. Why would your girlfriend believe her? Oh, and that is over <laughs> some sort of business line. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, that is a boundary you don't cross with coworkers. Yeah, look, I've thought about this for a long time now. I, I, really, I think the only solution that we can find, like a way for us to get back to some normalcy, would be for Emily to call and say, hey, like this really happened. I mean, that's going from the source. That's got to prove it. Yeah. Some wait. random woman that she's never met. Well, <laughs> that was her nothing. Is but, it, wait, ha, have they like, met before? Like, no. Oh. Emily is single, though, and that does. I did mention that, and that does make the situation. Why would you mention that? Bring that up. <laughs> no. He's just trying to give himself kudos. Like, there was this yeah. beautiful single woman I got locked in a room with, and I didn't do anything. Aren't you proud of me? I mean, it's fine. If she you... was freezing. I had to put my body did... on her all night to keep her warm. Did you also tell your girlfriend how hot Emily was? Yeah. The same breath? I was nervous. I was saying whatever I could to prove it was true, and now I, I just okay. help. Call that digging yourself a hole. Yeah. Or a grave. I don't know which. I hate to say I kind of agree with Brooke. But I didn't do anything. No, well, no. Yeah. You're not but, saying that you did anything. But, but you're but it, making yourself look it's bad. It's not a good look. Yeah. So we're going to try and come back and help you, give you a little bit of advice on how to convince your colleague to reach out to your girlfriend to say, we did spend an entire night in a bank oh together, but God. nothing out of the ordinary happened. But your boyfriend's gross, and I'd never touch him. <laughs> that might be a good strategy. We'll see what we come up with when we do your Awkward Tuesday phone call right after this. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Awkward Tuesday phone call. On the phone with us right now, we've got a little man named Josh. Oh, cool. J-O-S-H. Why do you call him little man? Yeah. Why do you got to spell it? And yeah. why is this music? What is going Josh on? is a big boy. He goes oh. out as a surveyor to different properties and helps assess their value. Yes. You yeah. know what I mean? He's also an assessor. Probably. That's right. He works with different people at the bank who also come along to take a peek. Oh, what? And no, what's happening in those chat. buildings? Someone likes to look. And recently Dude, he was <laughs> checking out an old closed bank that went out of business, accidentally locked himself inside. For okay, the that whole is not a euphemism. That long. is actually what yeah. happened. Those yeah. are true <laughs> facts. That's right, Brooke. Yeah. Locked himself in there along with his female colleague, Emily, who he did mention. Uh, what? Why did you have to play that sound effect? That just happens when you mention the name Emily. No, no, no. <laughs> 
Okay. You're the worst. I was just trying to vibe off of the music there, but he did mention Emily is single, which uh, yeah. to his girlfriend, yeah, who's yeah. already super insecure. That and maybe wasn't that the best cheated. move. So but that's Emily's situation, not his situation. It has caused a riff in his relationship with his girlfriend, who doesn't believe him that nothing yeah. happened. Honestly, yes. if he played that music while he told her, I don't know if I'd believe him. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. totally. kind of convincing. We're gonna give Josh some advice about how to convince his colleague to reach out to his girlfriend and back up their totally. Oh. Platonic story. Mm-hmm. Brooke, what's your Jeff, advice? You're not helping by it. <laughs> I, I know. It's so not so a platonic much. story. So much. It's a, I'm sorry. You just can't use words like that. Okay. And, yeah. That's okay, why listen, Brooke can help them. My advice is actually for Emily for when Emily calls your girlfriend. Oh, okay. okay. Because it sounds okay. like your girlfriend is not going to believe anything. Like, she doesn't believe you. Yeah. Why would she believe a total stranger? Mm-hmm. So I think the only way that Emily can convince your girlfriend that nothing happened is if Emily believingly tells her that she is a lesbian. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, that's amazing. Not interested in men. Don't <laughs> care about men. And then it's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I even questioned exactly. it. Yeah. Exactly. So he that's can good. tell her that over the phone today when yes. he calls her yes. here. Yes, I see. I but, mean, that's his strategy for Emily. Like, Emily doesn't need to do the work here. He needs to come up with a plan. That's Emily true. just has to make the call. She's, yeah. like, vicariously in the situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Have her change her sexual orientation temporarily <laughs> for you. That's, that's one strategy. Right. Jose, I do it for him. I do it. what do you think? Well, look, if I've ever needed a big favor from any of my coworkers, all all you do is offer lunch. Huh? It's what we do around here. Yeah. So you say, look, oh. I need a big favor. Just clear the air with my girlfriend, and then next time you and me are evaluating a property, I'll buy lunch. Briber with food. Briber with food. Lunch is good. Lunch is good because it's like lunch is a platonic meal. Yeah. Oh. We'll get a- <laughs> There's that word well, again. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't hang out with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you go there, bro? Let me take you to a romantic candlelit place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know steakhouses were open Who's today. the naughty boy now? Okay. Yeah. Well, here we go. We're about to dial your colleague, Emily, so that you can talk to her, try to convince her to call your girlfriend and tell her nothing happened. But here we go. I'm dialing your number right now. Good luck. Hello? Hey, Emily. How are you? <laughs> oh, hey. How are you? How's it going? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Uh, how's the bank? Oh, uh, which bank? The one I work for or the one we are chapped in? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I've I've not been back to the closed one. Uh, I, I was wondering how things are going where you work. <laughs> oh, so you're just calling to check up on me. That's so sweet. Uh, uh, well, I, actually, I, I, I was calling about something uh, specific. I just wanted to debrief a little bit about you know, how crazy that was. Um, that we were locked in there for a whole night. I know. It was so crazy. Um, <laughs> you know, but very fun. Yeah, we. Yeah. Ha- I feel like we laughed a lot. We were talking. I got to know you pretty well. Yeah, like on, yeah. A, on, a, on a professional level, for sure. For sure, I feel like it's good to keep those relationships uh, yeah, well, I, I, okay. If, I feel like we became friends. I mean, how do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, you know, there was, I mean, look, you locked in there for a whole night. Of course, there was some, you know, <laughs> friendliness that developed. But I, I just wanted to, I, just, I have a favor to ask. Um, yeah, you sound really nervous. <laughs> What's up? I, I, look, I'll be completely honest with you. I, I am, um, I'm a little bit nervous. Um <laughs> Yeah, why? Are you calling to invite me back? (laughs) Invite you back (laughs) to the abandoned bank? (laughs) (laughs) No, I... um, Look, obviously, like, the situation was wild. And when I tried to explain what happened to my girlfriend, she just... It took her a long time to even believe that that happened to me. Um yeah, what part didn't she believe? She just couldn't believe that I had spent a night in a bank oh. and gotten trapped in there. And then when I told her that you were trapped in there with me, she 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 thought that something had happened between us that didn't happen. Oh, uh, really? Right. Okay. Yeah, no, I think you understand where I'm going. Yeah. So she's so, she's jealous. Uh-huh. Yeah, jealous, and I think that 
it's hard for her to wrap her head around that we could have been stuck in a bank together overnight and not have had something happen between us. Right. But let's say something did happen. Okay. Right. No, but it, it didn't though. Nothing did happen. But let's say it right. did. <laughs> Right, no, I, and whatever we were doing, we were just killing time, right? Like, there was nothing that happened between us. I mean, you did watch me change, though. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> no, I, I I, watched you take off your jacket to sleep on it, uh, to, like, use it as a pillow, but I did not watch you change clothes. <laughs> okay, but you still watched. Oh, my God. I watched you take off your jacket. That's nothing. I I, I don't... I don't know what I, this is so it's going so much worse than I this is uh, my girlfriend is going to kill me. Why is she going to kill you? Because this I is mean, on the radio. Oh. What? What what do you mean it's on the radio? Oh. Okay. Yeah. He's panicking. The... Oh, yeah. What's going on? Where are all these people from? We're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And Josh reached out to us for help with mm-hmm. this exact conversation. That he never even got to the question no. that he no. called oh, to right, ask you Brooke, for. He never even asked. The, the whole reason for this <laughs> phone call, Emily, is that he was wanting to ask you to contact his girlfriend to let her know that nothing happened that night between you two. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, like, the way yeah. you say everything. Yeah, but like, I don't know you, if it's a good idea. I don't yeah, know. No. We set out on this call with a goal. So, Josh, do you want to try asking Emily yeah. that favor that you want from her? I feel like you Not that favor, the oh, other favor. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm honestly nervous to ask you now, Emily, but She's gonna seriously, it would mean a lot to me if you would call my girlfriend and, and yeah. just tell her that there was nothing physical that happened between us at the bank. Okay, but what is in this for me? Oh. What? You're what? being a nice person and helping him out of a situation. Well, it's it's tough to ask a woman to like step into somebody's rocky Drama. relationship and tough. solve it for them. That's I, true. Yeah. I wouldn't do it for one of you guys. No. Call uh, third party. Like, that's crazy. I will say one person in this room had an idea of maybe a possible reward would be a lunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would love to go out with you to lunch, Josh. That no, sounds great. No, okay. I, no, I didn't think of that. <laughs> no, I don't like, like the way she says lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust that. Josh, no. Josh is saying just a business lunch. Yeah, like you guys yeah, are Why did you salad. use air quotes when you said business, Jeffrey? <laughs> Maybe he could just Venmo you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Emily? Oh, we don't have to do anything fancy. You know, oh. we could just like get Chipotle. Oh. oh, why does Chipotle I sound know. sexy? But I feel like she's going to order guacamole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're doing. We're supposed to survey an abandoned Chipotle, and, and I'm not going to get locked in there. Oh. <laughs> it does make uh, me question if the whole locked in thing was an accident. Oh, oh, I wouldn't do anything like that. You know me, right, Josh? Oh. I don't know up from you down. Know. I don't know what's going on. You guys. I, I, I can't be a part of this. All right. Well, just forward your girlfriend this podcast at Brooke and Jeffrey, and I think that'll be good, right? Everything will be fine. Yeah, sure. I hope she never hears this. (laughs) Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Start your summer road trip at Midas and get up to $30 off your next repair service. Plus, get a free closer look vehicle check to make sure you're road trip ready. If you need brake service, an alignment check, or tune-up, hit up Midas for up to $30 off. For more details, request your appointment at Midas.com. Inner peace. For me, it's the aroma of lavender in a candlelit bath enveloped by a rainforest soundscape. Enlightenment? Here I come. Free one-day delivery on bath bombs and millions of other items. Whatever you're into, it's on Prime. Pack your bags and jet set into June at Tulalip Resort Casino. Fly in Mondays because there's blue skies ahead. Earn 300 promo slot points to pick up your free gift. Stop by Wednesdays for the hourly slot tournaments. Place in the top 50 and win free play up to a thousand bucks. Stroll in Fridays for guaranteed free play. Five winners every half hour pocket a hundred bucks. Find all the details online at TalalipCasino.com. 
Here at NC Machinery, people always ask, what can you do with cat compact equipment? Well, here goes. Build gardens, patios, and parking, set posts and poles, plant trees, remove pipes, stumps, and rocks, clear snow, brush, and trees, trench, grade, and maintain. Landscape your backyard, your front yard, your neighbor's yard. Get through doorways, alleyways, and fence gates. <sighs> Build ropes, trails, fire breaks. Move gravel, wood chips, and hay. Clean pens and barns. Break concrete, asphalt, and gravel. Use tools like hammers, tempers, trenchers, mulchers, and mowers. And for the doers doing the landscapers, contractors, and landowners digging, call NC Machinery to get 0% for 48 months on select compact equipment. Terms and conditions apply. Five Below means hot stuff, cool prices, and the best kind of fun anywhere. The trends you see all over your feed can be yours for way less than the rest. Like can't keep in stock candy and snacks, brand name beauty, the latest tech, room decor, and lots more. Plus, get extreme value finds you just have to see to believe in our Five Beyond shop. Yep, you could say we're kind of a big deal here. Shop over 1,600 stores nationwide and fivebelow.com.